I'm a girl, but I like games. I mean, what's that about? Games are for boys. But here I am with a controller in my hands like my ridiculous lady fingers could even work the triggers. That's what they're even called. People often ask me what my favourite button on a gamepad is. Well, speaking as a girl gamer, I can say that it's X, because who needs a Y chromosome, right ladies? Okay, so this is the live feedback. The general consensus is she's more likeable than you, she's passionate, and... Mm, go on, I can take it. Well, people seem to like the fact she's not blatantly trying to be Charlie Brooker. So what you're saying is I need to wear a dress? There's no way to get that from what I just Let's said. Let's work it! Big Mama style. You are not whacking up. Women, love them or loathe them, you'd be hard pressed to convince a journey that they don't exist. They've got the full range of facial expressions, including the common ones like who, me, to more exotic and nuanced facial expressions, such as I thought this was water, but it's fizzy. Now I'm not sure what's in my mouth. Maybe I should spit it out. I know there's a mini USB cable in this cabinet somewhere, but can I honestly be asked? Oh God, this guy's gamertag is triple X snipe killer maniac. Maybe I'll spend the rest of my life offline. Women share 40% of their DNA with ordinary human beings, and like a big bloody hero, I'm going to give them a voice, as soon as whatever this is shuts up and gets out of my chair. Sometimes video games let us all down. Take us here as Wrath. I mean, I loved it, more than it probably deserved, but that love was poisoned, not by the fact that it's basically a lump of dumb quick time events, but because there's an achievement for staring at a pair of tits. If Mass Effect had a completely optional dick in a cupboard that you only see if you travel to the most remote planet, the more batshit Christian groups would claim that Bioware were recruiting gays for a massive bumming platoon. But an achievement effectively gripping your head and saying, look at them, look at the tits, it's saying to any girls who might be playing, screw you, this is the way the world works and we're 100% behind it. Tits. It's even worse now. They say the dress is transphobic and your preachy tool is trying to impress girls because he can't get laid. Well, you can't win. I could never play Dead or Alive because I like to play video games naked and I don't want Mum to get the wrong idea when she comes into my room with my dinner. But that's fine because I don't want to play Dead or Alive anyway. No one does. It's tedious softcore fantasy porn for dysfunctional orb fetishists. But Bioshock Infinite? Bioshock's an intelligent franchise. Bioshock features history, literature, and politics, so we can play it and think gaming's as good as history, literature, and politics. So when it turns out you're on a mission to save a damsel in distress with her tits half out, it's like... <sighs> I'm not trying to eradicate boobs. They're perfectly normal, and developers are just addressing what they see as public demand. But maybe we could make them optional. Excuse me, could you staple a picture of a topless girl half my age into this newspaper, please? Whoa! Turn the breasts off by default. All you have to do to get your precious boobs back is check a box that says, I seriously won't be able to pay attention to this game unless I can see the tops of some tits. And another that says, seriously, I think I've got a problem. What the hell is wrong with me? Why am I like this? 2K will send you a letter, and once you've faxed it back with a signature from your mum, hey presto, boobs everywhere. Fill your boots, you deserve it. It's my friend, Straw Man Matt. Hi, Straw Man Matt. What's that, you say? You say that boys are objectified too? You say that men are subjected to unrealistic images of manhood and that if you think about it, men are the real victims because the gay feminazi mafia set the agenda these days. And you say that white people are oppressed because there's no white history month and you want to know why there's no heterosexual pride parades. And you want to know why there's a Mother's Day and a Father's Day but no Children's Day. And you want to know why it can't be your birthday every day of the year because you like presents. Who straw man, Matt? Here, Alice, help me out. How do you feel about the objectification of women in video games? It doesn't really bother me, to be honest. Well, not at all. Well, it's, you know, it's a bit rubbish, but you just sort of block it out. Yeah, but you're only saying that because you've internalised the oppression of the patriarchy, right? Sort your eggs out, mate. Oh, if this video doesn't cure sexism, it's your fault, you smelly cow. I'm too lazy, apologetic and nervous to be a crusader. All I want is to not feel complicit. But that's hard because it's everywhere. Girlfriend mode, booth babes at expos, Team Ninja's teenage tit physics, Hitman Absolution's sexy nun trailer, press events at strip clubs, death threats sent by hormone-steeped psychopaths to a woman who wants to study how video games portray women. 
the background noise of sexual violence from people who just got shot by someone with a feminine sounding gamer tag, every one of the seven million results for the phrase, make me a sandwich, Penny Arcade throwing their righteous weight behind a card game where aliens abduct schoolgirls. Men may have built this world, but the world we've built is shit. I'm extremely lucky. I'm not rich, but I can obviously afford loads of food. I'm white, which shouldn't be lucky, but it's a miserable fact that it is. Look, I don't make the rules, I just benefit from them every second of my life. And best of all, I'm gay, so I get to trade in eight years of self-loathing and secret terror for being able to talk like a pompous dick about privilege. I can look at you in the face and say, Oh, shut up, you don't know what it feels like to be part of an oppressed minority like me and Alice here. Women are kind of a majority. Oh, will you shut up and let me save you, woman?